Greetings, my friends. I've got some very sad news for you. For the first time ever in the history of the world, the majority of all adults and children, all human beings on the face of the planet, suffer from anxiety and depression. This is the most anxious and depressed generation in the history of the world, more than any time since the beginning of time, since records have been, have been kept. This is sad. It's really sad. You see the picture of this teenage girl just sitting by herself on the railroad tracks and just head down and sad and lonely. You see it everywhere. It's affected. People are affected everywhere by this. And it's, it's an epidemic. It's horrendous. And people are wondering, why is it like this? What's causing this? I believe that I know the exact cause. And I'll share that cause with you because I don't believe in any coincidences. So this is a new survey. It's within the last year. Also within the last year, interestingly enough, another survey came out that said this is the most godless generation globally since the beginning of time as well. There are fewer people in the world who believe in God, who believe in Jesus Christ, who believe in the Bible than ever in the history of the world. And these two, I believe, are direct parallels. Because look at America and use America, for example. America is the most depressed, by the way, and anxious nation on the face of the planet. Uh, go figure, right? America has turned into a godless place. It was formed on God. God used to love America and bless us and help us. We were the second apple of his eye after Israel. But America started turning its back on God in a real big way when he took prayer out of schools around 1960. And from that time on, America has been in a, in a steady, uh, rapid slide towards hell and turn her backs on God in record numbers. And when you see, when you turn your back on God, God doesn't make you do anything. God could make people do anything he wanted to. He's a creator. He gives us free will. He always has. And what God does is when man turns his back on him, then God turns man over to the devil. The devil is the God of the skies. And he's the one who brings depression. He's the one who brings anxiety. He's the one that brings all of the terrible things, these terrible things that just affect so many lives and, and make people suicidal. And watch my sermon this weekend, by the way. It's, it's, a, it's a segue. I'm going to be actually talking about suicide, what the Bible says, not what man says, not what um, any man lies about, only what scripture says, and show you the truth and the facts. But this is major, major stuff, my friends. Depression and anxiety is bad, bad stuff. It, it, it's horrendous. And only God can help you. I mean, I have severe post-traumatic stress disorder from multiple frontline combat tours with the U.S. Marines. And I have anxiety. I have depression from that. But the Lord helps me to be able to fight it. And he helps me to be able to keep my head above water. He, he gives me an outlet here to help you. And by helping you, I can help myself. But it's horrendous. It, it's a terrible thing. It, it's, it's awful. And I love Jesus with all my heart. But even Christians can be affected by this because you can't do anything about combat and background, things like that. It's just horrendous. People have been assaulted and had terrible things happen in their lives. And they're affected by this. Just because you have it doesn't mean you're a bad person or a godless person. But it ties in big time that the vast majority of people in the world are godless now, and the vast majority of people in the world have anxiety and depression right now, just out of the blue, even for small things. There's no coincidence. It's tied in directly, and it's man turning his back on God. And soon, the world doesn't like people like me anymore. I mean, they'd rather watch videos with little cute puppies and kitties and babies and, and funny things and gag things. They don't want to hear the truth from the Word of God. I've got thousands and thousands that, that follow Jesus Christ with me throughout the week. But with all of the subscribers and friends I have, I should have 100,000, a million views every time. But my type of, uh, of teaching has lost favor in today's godless and, and, and Christian-hating world. And I'll just keep on preaching to whoever wants to hear. God will bring those into my life he wants me to reach. And the others, they'll do what they want to do. But I'll keep preaching the truth. I'll keep bringing you the truth. I'll keep bringing you hope because the world lies to you and gives you false hope. I'll bring you true hope from the word of God. When Jesus Christ says he can save your soul and help you to be able to live in heaven forever, not floating on some cloud with a harp, but having a, a beautiful, wonderful, uh, extraordinary life beyond your wildest imagination. It's waiting for you if you find Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He's the only way to help you cope with anxiety and depression. <clears throat> I know it for a fact because he's been helping me for the past several decades. Jesus Christ is our only hope, my friends. If you've never known him as Lord and Savior, or you used to know him, but you've turned away from him and you're living a life for the world and don't care anymore, 
Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. Ask him to save your soul. Ask him to come back in your heart before time runs out because no one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much. I don't want to see anyone suffering, anyone languish and, and, and spend forever in hell in the lake of fire because they weren't ready to meet Jesus Christ. I just love you guys, man. And I just want you all to be ready again at all times. It's just very, very important. Jesus is important to me as well because I follow him. Make sure you share my videos and my sermons to a, to a dying world who needs Jesus Christ. And, and Jesus will reward you openly in heaven, my friends, for doing so. For those who come to him and come back to him, if you make it there as well. I love you all so much. May God bless you. And my true Christian brothers and sisters in Christ, look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Take care of yourselves. Pray for those who had depression and anxiety. You don't have to know their names. Just pray for them. They need Jesus in their hearts. They need peace. They need help. And they need to be able to get through this in their life. Please touch them and bless them. I love you all so much.